Welcome to Pact Publishing's video course on building an app UI with Prime Faces. In this section, we will upgrade the very basic web page to a nicer looking web page using some of the Prime Faces components. Right click on the name of the project and click Debug. NetBeans will build the project and deploy it to Tomcat and display the web page. Do not close the web page. Go to NetBeans and find the file called index.xhtml. It will be in the web pages part of the project. Double click on the file. The contents of the file will be displayed on the right hand side in NetBeans. Add the Prime Phrases namespace to the top of the file in the HTML section. This will allow you to use Prime Phrases components. As with any facelet tag, the UI components must live inside of a facelet tag library, which must be declared with an XML namespace declaration. In this case, XML NS colon P equals. The characters after XML NS colon but before the equal sign are arbitrary, but because those same characters must be used throughout the page to refer to components from the library, it's a good idea to keep it short. In this case, we use P. Whenever you want to use prime phase components, you will need to prefix it with a P. We will first add the layout component to the web page. It will be configured so that we have a header, center, and a footer. Add the layout component between the body tags. Create the layout unit with position north. That will become the header. Create a layout unit with position south. That will become our footer. Create a third layout unit with position center. Save the file and go to the web page that NetBeans opened previously and refresh the page. The new layout should be visible. Let's add some data entry fields in a panel grid. First create a panel grid with four columns inside the center layout. Inside the panel grid, create a prime faces output label. Set the for attribute to first name or lowercase and give it a value of first name. Create the prime faces input text with an ID of first name or lowercase. Create another prime faces output label. Set the for attribute to surname or lowercase and give it a value of surname. Create the prime faces input text with an ID of surname or lowercase. Save the file and go have a look at it in the web browser by refreshing the web page. Since the screen will be a search screen, we need a button to start the search. Go back to NetBeans and add a Prime Faces command button with a value of search. The Prime Faces command button automatically uses Ajax when it submits data, so only a partial update or re-render will take effect on the page. Any component that sends data back to the server, like the button, needs to be in the form. Make sure when you create the form tag to use the JSF version and not the HTML version. It is also very important never to nest form tags. If you have some kind of strange bug, first see if you don't wrap form tags. Also make sure to have form tags inside the layout unit and don't add a form around the layout. When adding a form around the layout, the web page will not work properly. Now wrap the whole panel grid in a JSF form tag. Save the file and have a look at it in the web browser. Any search needs a search result. We will now create a data table that will contain the search results. Go back to NetBeans and create a new data table in the center layout under the previous form tag. Inside the data table, create a column tag with a header text of first name. Inside the column tag, create an output text tag with an empty value.
Create the second column tag in the data table with the header text of surname. Create an output text tag inside the column tag. Leave the value empty. Wrap the whole data table in a JSF form tag. We will not submit any data at this point, but when the time comes, the form will already be there and things will just work.